Hello, my name is João Pedro. I'm a software engineer at Xplain. Today, I'm going to show you how your Swift applications can take advantage of our own cloud AI models. I'm excited to introduce you to our latest Swift SDK, Xplain Kit. Let's get started. Before we dive into the details, let me give you an overview of what we are covering today. This presentation is divided in three steps. First, where is Xplain Kit? Second, choosing AI models on xplain.com. And finally, using AI models in your Swift app. This is where you get into the nuts and bolts of implementation. We will look on how to integrate the chosen AI model in your Swift code. By the end of this presentation, you will have a solid understanding on how to use Xplain Kit to bring the power of AI models in your Swift applications. So, let's begin. My colleagues and I are currently developing a cooking app called Kitchen Guru. We designed Kitchen Guru to help users effortlessly create new recipes using ingredients they already have at home. Our primary focus now is on building the core feature of the app, recipe generation based on a list of ingredients. While there are many approaches to solving this problem, such as using a traditional database, we believe the most effective way to do so is to use an AI model. To bring this solution to life, we are using XplainKit. XplainKit is our latest Swift SDK, designed to seamlessly bridge the gap between Xplain and Swift. With XplainKit, you can access a marketplace of over 40,000 AI agents that can have many different functions. And of course, you can integrate them smoothly with Swift, allowing it to run all of those agents on cloud with support for devices such as iPhones, Vision Pro, Mac OS, and more. In this section, I'm going to talk how to choose the right AI model for your application. Each application, each task, and each challenge needs a different AI model or a different combination of AI models. So I'm going to show you how you can select the right AI model for your task at xplain.com. For Kitchen Guru, we are going to use text generation models. The famous LLMs are the best option. I'm also going to teach you how to configure Xplain Kit on your Xcode project and start using in a few steps. And foremost is natural language understanding. Our model needs to accurately interpret cooking related queries. You should handle variations in user language and understand cooking terminologies, where someone asks for saute or fry their vegetables. Next, we also need text generation quality. We need our AI to produce coherent and easy to follow cooking instructions. Speed is our second crucial factor. For real time cooking assistance, we are aiming for very fast response times. Imagine asking for help while your relatives await to you to prepare a dish. Every second counts. In this demo, we chose a Lemma Tree by Grok as AI model for Kitchen Guru. Let me show you how you can navigate and select the right model for you at explain.com. This is the Xplain dashboard. Here we are going to search and find the right model we need to use to generate recipes. To do so, we are going to discover. In Discover, we have a list of different models. Here, we can search a model for its function. In our case, we need text generation models. After a quick search, we can find many different models that can be sorted in many different ways. For our use case, we are going to go with Grok as a provider especially because Grok has a very good reputation for being fast and reliable. Now, we are going to select Llama, provided by Grok, hosted by Grok. To do so, we just need to click on the model card and select the model ID. This model ID is going to be used in our SDK to call the model and use the model functions inside our Swift application. Back to Xcode. Now we are going to import Xplain Kit to our Kitchen Guru project. To do so is very easy. We just need to use Swift Packet Manager inside Xcode to import Xplain Kit using the GitHub link that will be in the description of this video. 
In a few steps, we can start using Explain Kit. Let's start the coding section. First up, we have setting the API key. We will walk through how to configure the API key in your code. Next, we will move on to fetching models. Here, we will explore the process of retrieving the model from the model ID we have from the platform. In our case, we will retrieve the lemma tree provided by Grog. Following that, we will discuss setting the model prompt. This section focuses on how to customize prompts to get a desired outcomes. In our case, how to provide a list of ingredients and receive back a recipe. Finally, we will cover creating the recipe. This is the part where we tie everything together and run our project. Let's start. Let's start on how to configure the API key. If you need some guidance to get this API key, please follow the link in the description of this video. There are many secure ways to do this. However, for this demo, I will create a function that runs as soon as the app starts. In this function, I will call the key manager from XPlainKit and assign the team API key property. Remember, in a production environment, this key should be stored securely. The next step is to fetch the model information. This process is essential for our solution. We define a synchronous function called fetch models. The async keyword here allows us to perform network operations without blocking the main thread. Inside this function, we create an instance of model provider. This utility class provided by XPlainKit handles the communication with our AI models. The heart of this function is the model provider.get. This method takes a string parameter, a unique identifier, in this case, the same ID we got from Lama model, and represents a specific model. This model provider.get is fetching the model information, is creating a model object from our services. Why use try? There are two reasons. We are using try await here because await, since we are calling a synchronous method and need to wait for its results. Try because this operation might fail, for example, due to network issues. And we are choosing to handle any potential errors by assigning new to self.lemma tree if the fetch fails. The result of this operation is successfully is stored inside lemma tree which you will later will be using to generate recipes. Let's set up the model prompt. This is where you define how the AI model will interact with your users. For example, if you are building an app that helps users generate recipes based on a list of ingredients they provide, you need to craft a prompt that the AI understands. Here, we are telling the AI that it will be used as an assistant to generate recipes based on a list of ingredients provided by the user. The format of the input is clearly defined, so the AI knows exactly what to expect. Once the AI has received the input, it generates a recipe in JSON format. It's important to ensure that the output is strictly in JSON format, with no additional formatting or information. This makes it easier to parse it and use within your application. The JSON includes a title, a brief recipe history, and a step-by-step -step instruction. This function is the heart of our AI-powered recipe generation. It takes an array of ingredients as input and returns a picture of recipe object. The async keyword indicates that this function performs a synchronous operation, which is crucial when working with AI models. The throw keyword means it can throw errors, allowing us to handle potential issues gracefully. Inside our function, the first step is to ensure we have access to our AI model. We are using guard statement to check if lemma free model is available. If it's not, we return new, gracefully handling the case where AI model isn't accessible. This is an important safeguard in our app architecture. Let's prepare the list of ingredients for the AI model. Here, we are converting our list of ingredient objects into a single string. This step is crucial because our AI model expects input in a specific format. 
We iterate through each ingredient, appending its description to our string. This process transforms our structured data into a format that AI can understand and work with. Now comes the exciting part, interacting with our AI model. This is where the magic happens. We call run method on our lemma free model, passing in our ingredients string as data, and a predefined system context. The await keyword is crucial here, as allow our app to remain responsive while waiting for the AI to generate the recipe. Once we receive the output, we attempt to create a recipe object from it. If successful, we return this recipe. If any error occurred during this process, they will be thrown and can be handled by the calling function. Okay, let's start cooking. I ask a few colleagues here at Xplain to send me some ingredients they love to use when cooking. Let's add all of them on our application. Okay, let's see. Nice, a rosemary pasta. I love rosemary pasta. That's a very nice recipe. And the best of all, our model is working. That was nice. This was a quick demo on how to bring the power of AI models straight to your Swift code. Thanks to Xplainkit, you can do so with just a few lines of code. All links as well as Kitchen Guru project will be in the description. Thanks for watching and have a great day.